Chook's Tactical. Always Chook. Always Tactical. Hey guys, Chook here with Chook's Tactical. I wanted to do a video on my new carry style that is completely concealable. It's the most concealable way I've ever carried, except for appendix, but I'm no longer doing that, which you'll find out why next week. But um, so I carry now at 3 o'clock. I was doing more of a 4, 4.30, um, and then Chuck with Alaskan Ballistics reminded me, why are you doing it? Why don't you just carry at 3? And I remembered I used to carry a 1911 at 3, and it's just really concealable. Um, so I don't know why I was doing it at 4, because 3 is just fine, and it's more accessible, and I like the way it feels better. But anyways, all the carry holsters... I've had I've had some really nice ones. I did that review on the Dara holster. Um, you know, it was carbon fiber. It was made really nice. But the problem was that the the gun sat really high. It had that combat grip, and especially when I'm doing, you know, even three o'clock carry, but especially with those four o'clock carries, it would just print horribly out the back. Just horrible printing. Um, you know, I I have uh, low. Mr. Lopez with Nightfall Customs make me a lot of holsters, and his were the same way. They were, you know, the combat grip, where the grip is way up high, and it's, it's just printing. So, I don't know how I found it, but I found this holster. It's just called the DeSantis in the waistband holster for Glock 26, 27. But I found this years ago for my Glock 26, and it fits my Glock 19 perfectly, by the way. Um, but it is the lowest riding holster I've, I've ever had. Um, the problem is, is that it's leather. Now, one, one criticism I will give you when you're using a holster like this is it will partially bury the handle, so only kind of the tip of the handle is. It, I mean, it just sits really low, so you'll, it's a little bit slower than these combat grip ones, but it's completely concealable. So what I did is I sent uh, Mr. Lopez a picture of this holster and I said can you re replicate this in Kydex and he said yeah no problem just you know send me another picture with the gun inside it so I did that and he came up with this holster uh, for a Glock 20 mind you I went into uh, what was it um, Northern Security and asked would you got an in the waistband holster for a Glock 20 and they're like uh they didn't have any in stock and the guy said wow that's crazy why are you going to carry that I'm carrying a Glock 20 because my Glock 19 uh, is being worked on at the moment but anyways um, he made this for me and it's extremely low riding as, as you can see your belt goes in right there the belt line is right there it partially covers some of the uh, the handle and that's the way I like it. I, this is the only way I go. He's going to make me some more for the Glock 19, but um, I'll put uh, a link to Nightfall Customs on here. He's, he's pretty busy right now because um, he's just got a lot of orders. But, you know, that, that Dara custom holster I had, it was nice, but it took me eight weeks almost to get it. It was like six to eight weeks to get it in the mail. Lopez made this for me in a couple hours. He had it for me the day that I contacted him. He, he can make a holster just on the spot for you. Have it that day or the next day. It's just crazy, especially if you're in Anchorage or in Alaska um, because he's no, he knows you're gonna give him cash, so he'll just whip one out and, and make it for you. But anyways, look at how crazy low this holster sits. Like I said, it's, well, I guess it doesn't cover the butt. Look at how low that is, and you know it's winter time here. But even with a t-shirt, you know I'm going around with a t-shirt. It's it's completely concealable. So I would encourage you, um, if you like leather holsters, get one of these Desantis ones. Um, you know my concern is when they get get worn and you know reholstering it. It's dangerous to reholster this kind of thing when it's in your pants. Um, but just check out how concealable that is. A like Glock 20, it's a full size. And, you know, a lot of people aren't really concealing a giant full size gun like that. But it's completely concealable. So check them out. Nightfall Customs. Let me know what you think. If you'd rather have the grip way up here with the, the combat grip, like, you know, your traditional Kydex in the waistband. Or if you 
you think my slower but more concealable style is okay. And I'm going to have another video next week about um, all the different styles of, of carry. So thanks, guys. Please like and subscribe. Always true. Always tactical.